DJ all the way. It's a coach, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, running back David Johnson, fresh off 100 yards on the ground a week ago, as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Arizona Cardinals. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals. Just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. They'll be led out by the man who proclaims to be from a whole pack of Badgers, came into the league back in 2012, Russell Wilson. And this is a game for grit, determination, and somehow finding a way not to panic. What a horrible start for them. I mean, they haven't won a game yet. So now, as a quarterback, you're not just talking to your team. You've got to demonstrate to them what they need to do to win. He's got to be the leader by how he plays. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. A first carry now for Jordan Howard. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine, and it'll be back to a third and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. It's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. On oh, the return is Peterson. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick in the 2019 draft from Oklahoma. It's Kyler Murray. You enjoyed watching that game tape, didn't you? Yeah, Last week's game. Was good. Four I mean, touchdowns, one pick. Now, you were a little upset about the pick. I didn't know if you would play him this week or not <laughs> if you were the head coach. Hey, they got the win. They got the win, so you're going to give him another chance? I'm going to give him another shot. All right. I think the ratio is pretty good. He'll try to eliminate the interception, but he wants to keep that hot streak going, throwing touchdown passes. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And nothing doing on his first run. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there. Second down. 
And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They established the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Throwing on second down. Murray, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Bobby Wagner, the former second rounder out of Utah State with a sack. Well, let's see here, Charles. He was sacked six times last week. Now a first quarter sack. What's going on in his mind? Well, he's thinking to himself, five offensive linemen. I got sacked six times last week. Let's start thinking about keeping extra people in. Tight end stays in. If I have a fullback or the running back, they stay in and help me block. Maybe not as many receivers in a pattern. Anything to try and slow down that pass rush. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. What well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. Said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it'll be Seahawks football first and 10. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling the one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went three and out. And now they have that opportunity. No, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. And here's the starting offensive unit for Seattle. And they come off a tough loss last week. And what's their reward? A second straight road game. Rarely are teams happy about scheduling. They're always calling the league off and saying, how come we have this game and that game? But when you're coming off of a loss on the road and you go right into another one, that's a difficult task. Seven yards there and a first down. First, they go right back to Howard. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. We know this offense, they're built around passing the football. That time, the running game didn't suit them so well. Not so well, but they have to do it every so often. You have to be able to control the pass rush a little bit, make them somewhat hesitant before they come and get your quarterback. At least have the illusion that you have a running game. On second and 11 now, Wilson, and it's hauled in by Nick Vanette. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 44-yard line. They go play action here on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Darius Philo, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. They go counter with Howard. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. They get five yards on the run there. Still left staring at a third and about 14. A look now at our starting defense. They're currently sixth in the NFL in defending the run. They've established themselves as a top 10 run-stopping unit in the NFL here in the early going. All signs point to me towards them continuing that throughout the season. They look pretty good, pretty darn cohesive to me. Third and long, it's Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. Yeah. 
So on is Jason Myers. He's hit from as long as 58 in his career. This will be from 56 yards out. Throwing now is Breeze. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. And the Cardinal defense is going to get the football back. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. They'll run it with Johnson. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. This is how the defense will line up for Seattle. It's a unit that has had all sorts of issues against the pass. Dead last in the NFL, number 32 in the league. And when you're getting ready to face the number one overall offense in the NFL, it does not matter where you rank defensively because you got your hands full. You don't know what you're going to face, but you know that that's a strong unit that you're getting ready for. On second down, Johnson. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Justin Pugh, the Still left guard in. that time with a flag. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Fake handoff to Johnson. Now here's Murray. And able to find Kirk complete. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. We always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. So there on that play, offensively, they were in the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage, so as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver is crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and ten. Throwing is Murray on third down. Screen play, Johnson. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. The kick by Lambeau is good, and the Cardinals have the first points. It's 3-0. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, would, it just has a different feel, doesn't a it? A different feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. 
He'll find Metcalf. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They run with Howard. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. On third down, Wilson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller, and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. So here are the Cardinals to take over. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and ten. Now this one is running back out of the backfield and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards to pick up, good enough for an Arizona first. The first down carry here for Johnson. He's got the first down inside the 10. And did he get in? No, down at the one-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. But they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well organized, well coached, and extremely confident in what they do. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10-zip. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They'll look to get something started. They need to, down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Neutral zone infraction, defense. So a jump there defensively. It's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. On the delay, it's Howard. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football as they've got it second and seven. Ten-nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 
partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got the guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. Now Wilson on first down. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now a give right side. Carson. He did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call our BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that with perfectly. And rolling right out of bounds. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Only two on the screen pass there, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the second time. Yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 to Will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. And now let's look at David Johnson. Whatever he was doing in September, they're hoping that that carries over now to October because he was sensational last month. He absolutely was, and we all know where it started at the end of last season, right? All the off-season preparation, the weight workouts, the sprints, right? The vision that he had, what he was going to do this season. And of course, it all came together with the rest of the team. Those big fellows up front, leverage, and boy, are they getting downfield and creating extra blocks for them. They really are. Everyone's been doing their job so far to create those holes. Throwing on second and eight, Murray. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. 27 yards there, a first down. What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them, they? Don't get they get a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. To throw is Murray. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. And to the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big-time play there by the Cardinals. 43 yards. Now that's now two big catches on this drive for him. You know, the NFL keeps talking about the possibility of using video for coaching on the sidelines. That's not approved yet, but you can still use pictures. They've got to send his picture down to their defense and say, you see him? Cover it. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Johnson. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. The Seattle defense, they haven't broken yet. Coming up here on a third. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals push further out in front. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Lambeau on for the extra point. He's got it, and it's 17-0. A 
drive that time of six plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Jordan Howard and the rest of the offense heading back out there. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you've got a chance to come back to him when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. Well, still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, people say bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, the offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. That catch good for five. It's third down. And the Seahawks on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and seven. Wilson. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. So much about offense is what we call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. And then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Oh, boy, he fielded it right on the goal line. Officially, that'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And the Cards are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Not your normal call in short yardage, but the toss works very well there. Big people out in front, being physical, and they pick up a first down. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. They'll run on first down. It's Johnson, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. What happened there? Was that just a missed assignment on the O-line? It certainly felt like it, but also the speed of the play. When you're talking about defensive end, they want to be ahead of the clock, don't they? They want to be upfield, making plays on every snap. How about his agility there to run that one down? And got his man complete! And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. Now a play fake here on first down. And he will be hit from behind. 
behind and run over. Wow. Give the sack to Barkevius Mingo, the former number six pick. But maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Got a man open. It's Ricky Seals-Jones. 1.58 left to play until we hit halftime. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The Sorry. coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left, and this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over the spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Tyler Lockett trotting onto the field, getting set for this next drive. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Nice. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. It's complete to Lockett. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down, Seattle on a pickup of 13. The throw taken in by Cole. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Wilson. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. To throw is Wilson. Dumps that off to his running back, Jordan Howard. Give him three on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. To throw is Wilson. Throwing on third and long. Open man, it's Benan. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. An inaugural trip to the red zone here for the Seahawks. They've got it first and goal at the seven. From the shotgun, Wilson, and it's caught. A gain of seven that time, second goal. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? 
Again, Wilson. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Keelan Cole, the intended target, but now it's third and goal. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And Myers able to knock it through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to three. Well, not the best first half facing this deficit, but at least they did put three on the board before half. Yeah, it's a little bit like that stormy, cloudy day and the sun peeks through just for a second. They saw the sun there. They're hoping to see a little bit more of it in the second half. This is taken about seven yards deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. All that remains is to snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two touchdown game. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit, but first let's take a look around the NFL here on this first Sunday of October. We'll kick things off in the NFC West, a match that's once again NorCal versus SoCal. Los Angeles, San Francisco. And it's the Niners who have the lead in that one. Two touchdown passes there for Jimmy Garoppolo. From there, we head cross country to check on the Giants at home at MetLife Stadium. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Browns in that one. Baker Mayfield with a couple of touchdown passes. Lastly, we're off to the Rocky Mountains, Denver, Colorado. See what's happening with the Broncos. And that game all tied with the visiting Patriots. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. Fielded about a yard deep. Come on now, let's go! So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They built a good first half lead, now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Play action. Now it's Murray. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. Now Murray throwing on second down. Escapes the But now he's swallowed up and taken down with a sack at Ziggy Ansah. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Murray with a third and long. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers. 
as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Here's Andy Lee now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. Just a 25-yard punt. Not what he was hoping for by any stretch. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait. To... Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Chandler Jones able to record his fifth sack of the season. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Well, the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. This is Howard on second down. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Wilson, he finds Howard complete. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Now here's Michael Dixon. He's been terrific so far. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Taken in at the 11. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And the Cards will take over. First and 10. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. 23 yards, the final tally. Big hitter to start the drive, has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Throwing on first down is Murray. Gonna look deep for Wilson. He's got it with the 15. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. And in two plays just like that, they're already operating in the red zone. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive, and these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way, oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover it. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And he'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it? For them to get downfield that quickly. And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Murray now. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. From four yards out. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And Lambeau now, 
after the touchdown. He'll kick this one away. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. Unfortunately for you, you've been around me for a little while now, so you know me as well as anyone and how I look at a game. I don't ever advocate abandoning anything, but in this case, I'm going against my own thought process. You've got to change it up. you got to start throwing it around a little bit, finding ways to try and move the ball because keeping it on the ground just isn't working for them. Yeah, maybe get him the ball out of the passing game or swing pass outside or something, just something to vary it up. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They're finding Keelan Cole. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I think we'll hear about that from him soon. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. But it's going to be second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Carson. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Well, they certainly haven't been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just putting their ears back and get after him now. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl-type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. Now here's Michael Dixon. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They had the double-digit lead at halftime, and they have continued to roll. They're hard to stop right now. I think what we're seeing is an example of a team that has it figured out in this ball game. And whatever the adjustments are the defense has made, <laughs> hasn't Not slowed them, hasn't phased them at all. They either anticipated them or they've been so far ahead that they just can't catch up. Now it's just a search to add to the lead. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And now nothing but green ahead of him. Touchdown, Cardinals. Christian Kirk, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals push further out in front. One play. 80 yards, pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Lambo to add on the extra point. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. 
Lambeau now after the touchdown. He'll kick this one away. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his, and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> you think you might have turned it on us, too? Uh, yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. On second down, it's Howard. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Wilson's throw caught by Metcalf. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Wilson now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. They go with Howard again. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On first down, Wilson. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Wilson going to throw again. It's caught. Block it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's a game of ten. First down. Check, check, 43. You better bring it. You better bring it. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. 
Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Christian Kirk and company heading back onto the field. And I think we both agreed he could have a really good game with this matchup, but over 200 yards now. I don't think we saw it as that good. And I think what really makes it special is when games like this are occurring, it's not just getting locked in and in the zone and out of roll. It's continuing to adjust throughout the game because you know the defense is kicking coverages towards him trying their best to slow him down, and he keeps getting the better of them. Yeah, whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Fake handoff to Johnson. Now here's Murray. He's got a man complete. That one good for 26 and a first down. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. <laughs> That's all they care about right now. Murray now. A perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. On the ground, this is Johnson. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and 8. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Well, first down there on a pickup of 25. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Bound to lose one. On first down, it's Johnson. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Give him 22 yards, and that's also where they snapped it from, the 22. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. They come up in an offset eye. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. He fights him off, but he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Jaron Reed muscles his way in for the sack. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off here by Aaron Colvin. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell and just run the football? I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they just get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. Myers connects on the PAT, and that will shave one more off this lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Now that turnover might just about do it. Here, fourth quarter, the lead that you've got, they can just run the football, run the clock. You're exactly right. They played smart. A couple of first downs, and this one should just about be over. Here we go. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 23. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 
The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll keep it on the ground. Logan, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Johnson. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here we go. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game. Instead of being able to shut the door, it's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. The only people are really happy about those picks, any fantasy team that has this defense. After the interception, here's Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They built up that lead at intermission, and they're just continuing to pour it on right now, aren't they? Locked into a really good groove right now. I don't know if it's just the play calling. I know the execution is really, really sharp right now. And all the playmakers are doing exactly what you expect. They're making plays. And right now, defense has no answer and no chance of catching up. Yeah, they're just looking to turn anywhere for a stop defensively. On second and nine, Murray. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because if you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to punt for Arizona. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? A good pick up there, 21 yards. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. The throw over the middle, taken in. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. There's Wilson to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was going for the tight end, Nick Vanette, and it's third down. They head to the line, facing a third and seven, following the incompletion on second down. To throw again is Wilson. 
He's got the tight end, Vanden. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down Let's inside go, the 20. That's a gain of nearly 40 yards on third and medium to pick up the first. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On second down now, it's Howard. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Wilson. Now he's got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett, his second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that will get him one closer. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Cardinals' hands team able to secure the football. The risk-reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Off the draw, here's Johnson. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Johnson. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. Touchdown, Cardinals! David Johnson with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Cardinals push further out in front. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone could stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that's leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. They're down big here late. I, I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here. We'll do something some other time. But some teams like to do something in the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here. And a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face match. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games. And now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way.
Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. They begin the drive with Johnson. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. They stay on the ground on first for Johnson. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they got it going today. On second down, it's Johnson. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. They get the tackle, Marcus Gilbert, second-round pick back in 2011 out of Florida. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Murray's going to look to throw this thing. This one caught by Isabella. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 33. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So for Arizona, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. and And they'll get another home date next week as the Saints will come to town. Meanwhile, for Seattle, the calendar changed October didn't help as they dropped to 0-5 on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.